views and opinions expressed on the radio program by the guests, advertisers, news bulletins, call-in listeners or chatters are solely the views and opinions of the source who express them. They do not necessarily reflect the opinions and the views of Trusco Group International, the broadcast regulators in Namibia, or that of the Informante radio station. This is Informante Radio, the sound for a new age. Informante Radio, the sound for a new age. La, la. That's exactly how <laughs> What it sounds like. <laughs> Good morning. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I so, I, <laughs> you are sexist. No. Sorry. What, are, what do you have against the bamboos? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, to. So, it, it's uh, probably um, tim, um, tim, tim, um, tim, um, tim, um, tim, um, tim, um, Urikirange. Uh, Urikira. Not Urikira. Uli li. Oh. Ulikilange. 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 Omtima. Omtima. Wange. 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 Ulikilake. Omtima. Lange. Yeah. A for F. Yeah. Where's major oh, heart? Vambu language, difficult language. Vambu spice, vambu hunar, <laughs> yeah. vambu art. That's it. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the morning. To the morning mix on Informante Live. More mornings, mornings, guys. More coffee, more, more Maria, more. More, more. Uh, 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 and, and also uh, a special good morning to Shines, okay? Because this thing that uh, your your fan club out here must give us nonsense every day. And we are not mentioning your name. Yes. Shines. So and Shines, Shines is Shines. the backbone of yeah. the morning show. Yeah, yeah. So are you are you happy now, Shines? That your fans are I happy that we mention your name on the show. When a lot of people are happy, I'm happy. Uh, okay. uh, <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Shines always sounds like an R and B artist. There is, he is an R and B artist. Yeah. What do you mean he's shines it sounds like an R and B even when he's speaking he's always yeah. just like before you greeted Shines you, you said Mitch and I thought you were getting ready to say Big Mitch, right? Uh, and then I realized your name is Big Mitch. Hmm? Yeah. Where does the big come from? Hey, the girls know. Yeah. Smiley. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just I, I know let, let me let me let me let me tell you, right? There is a guy, uh, I think he's from the north. He's got a personalized number plate. I think his name is Big Daddy, right? It's personalized something like Big Daddy or some some mm. big something, right? <coughs> and this man walks out and he's like so clean. Uh-huh. It was always my mind like short men always overcompensating with the <laughs> your, 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 your face there. <laughs> 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 
Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. you just killed me today. Yeah, yeah. No, but I'm serious. Where does the beat come from? I know it's not that. So what is it? Thank <laughs> you, <laughs> Look at the face. She's blushing. She's <laughs> blushing. She's blushing. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd have a little fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your, your, Mitch, it's it. your laughing face is priceless. I've never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you uh, off air. Uh, uh, I'll tell you off air. Are you going to tell her or show her? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Hey, hey, that's a brief. Order. Oh, yeah. order. order. Uh, sorry, in Vambo, we can't say order. Yeah, we can't say order. <laughs> because order means something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ev- evidently, for me, it really means big as well. <laughs> Roviera says, Kama, the Vambo language could never be romantic, Maria. <laughs> I yeah, Jealous and Tal is not romantic. No, that's yeah. true. Kaufi sounds like a Vambo from <laughs> Onga. This is what Onga. Tang- <laughs> this is what Tangeni with the capital says. Where's Onga in which o- constituency? Okwanyama. Okwanyama. Oh, ah. Okwanyama. Now, Damara, Damara can also never be sexy no, or no, no. romantic. Uh, 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 we are weird together. Afrikaans is sexy. Ah, that's a lift off. Come on, speaker. I know that that was. Come go away. It's it. <laughs> this is Informante Live and these are our top stories. The Namibian police in the Oanguena region have launched a manhunt after an Angolan man who raped a 10-year-old girl in the Onambia village in the Okongo constituency. The suspect, who was employed as a domestic worker at a house of the victim's parents, fled before he could be arrested. In another case of rape, a 16-year-old was drugged and raped by a 17-year-old at Tamariskia, Swakopmund, on Friday evening. The suspect was arrested. And in yet another incident, the Namibian police in the Omasati region have yet to arrest a man who raped an 11-year-old girl at the Okadila location at the Onjeke village in the Tsandi constituency. The police added that a case of rape was opened at Sunday and the police investigations into the matter continue. The Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture insists that results for the Namibia Senior Secondary Certificate Ordinary New and the Namibia Senior Secondary Certificate Advanced Subsidiary New levels will be released on the dates intended prior to the examination paper leak saga. This was spelled out by the Education Ministry in a three-page statement dated Friday the 3rd of December, which sought to further clarify their position on the leakage. According to the Ministry, although learners will be writing in January 2022, resources will be allocated to ensure that the results are out on initial planned dates. Thus, the Grade 11 cohort of 2021 will still begin their advanced subsidiary classes as planned, said the Ministry. And finally, the Ministry of Environment, Forestry and Tourism, Pohamba, the Minister of Environment, Forestry and Tourism, Pohamba Shifeta, has aired his grievances on funds derived from tourism activities meant to benefit marginalized communities living in the protected park areas going unaccounted for. Shifeta complained that past weekend when he launched the, the Topna Community Association at Utesip, a small settlement along the banks of the Kuisep River in the Nama Desert. The area falls within the protected Dorop and Naukluft National Parks and is home to the Topnar Nama people who have been inhabitants of the area for over a century. Your Trusco share price today, the 6th of December, is at $1.32 per share. Taking a brief look at the financial indicators, the Namibia dollar is trading against the US dollar at 16 Namibia dollars and 10 cents against the euro at 18 Namibia dollars and 20 cents and against the British pound at 21 Namibia dollars and 30 cents. This is Informante Live and these were our top stories. You can find more on our website which is informante.web.na. Crick, 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 crick. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the news for you. Um, Kalfi, yes. it's going to be a landmark day today. Absolutely, absolutely ten, landmark day for us. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, please 
hit us. Okay, so um, just to let everybody know, the president, uh, Dr. Hage Gangop, will be speaking today, will be addressing the nation in terms of COVID, and that's going to happen as from 10 o'clock this morning. Mm. In the meantime, the coronavirus cases update, 129,796 registered cases with 125,531 recovered so far. Deaths in Namibia is at 3,574 deaths. The interesting thing regarding the active cases, we've had a spike starting just from before the weekend. Mm. And as of yesterday, and yesterday being the 5th of December, we have 691 active cases. 691. I speak under correction, I think last and Thursday or Friday, we were 127. Mm -hmm. We are, this is going to be a very interesting thing um with the daily new cases yesterday 158 daily new cases so um here it comes you know everybody n knew that everybody is going to be traveling uh, and i still share maria's sentiments in terms of the more testing there is the more this number will be going up this is normal isn't it yeah i've i've said it all along right but I Can see I ask, where do you go every day at 8.40? I mean, 8.40, yeah. 8.40. Every day. Every day yeah, he gets up and then he leaves the studio. Yes, for at 8.40. Every, I've been sitting here next Is it? Yes. yes. And actually now I want to address it because it's like you do it every day at 8.40. What, where, where do you go? Oh, uh, I actually go to the other office. But you're working? Yeah. So it's still part of work. Okay. So what do you so do at the other office? What yeah. do you do at the other office? Uh, it's for the studio. Just go give them some stuff for the studio to load them. At 8.45. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't picked it up? No. Can't this, can't, can't this happen at 10 past 8? Or at 10 o'clock? Uh, only when I see the lady, then that's when I go. But yeah. I Unbelievable. Oh, all right. Actually, actually, I thought it was something related to it's this. It's a routine. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's something. I'll go like production routine. Don't worry. Mm. Like, Shad's also used to go to the toilet every day. Right? Tomorrow <laughs> when I read the news halfway through, I'm going to get up quickly, go out, <laughs> take a breather, come back and finish the news. <laughs> <laughs> to do that in your shows as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Unbelievable. Yeah. All right. Sorry, you were saying. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, just back to the coronavirus cases. Deaths. There were no deaths. Um, so we are slowly but surely. Friday is a public holiday, by the way. Mm. Okay. This Friday. This Friday coming, yeah. public holiday. It's Human Rights Day. So we're going to see people starting to go on holiday as from this week as we speak. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Schools are closed as well. So schools are closed, time. yes. Um, obviously, this whole matriculation exam paper leak saga thing. We've got to just watch that still for a little bit of um, time. But in terms of COVID, yeah, the figures are going up and the president will be speaking at 10 o'clock. What do you guys think is he going to say? Um, everybody's nervous, clearly. Everybody's mm -hmm. obviously nervous because this was called um, basically as we in are haste. Seeing, <laughs> yeah, at the 11th hour, right? Yes, yes. This, 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 this has been called as we seeing a surge in cases, a spike in cases. So, of course, everybody's on their nerves. What's the president going to do? Is he going to lock us in again? Is he going to whatever? I personally don't think he's going to mm. lock us up. I, what I do think is he's going to bring back a uh, curfew. Mm. Right. I, I, mm. I definitely think it's going to bring back curfew because nothing good happens after 10 o'clock. Right. We're out there. <laughs> I think people have been abusing um, the lack of curfew, obviously, to, you know, socialize till late at night, clubbing till early morning hours. Um, and obviously, nobody's maintaining True. The, the number of people that are allowed in an establishment mm. so definitely i think curfew will be brought back but uh do i j really think the president is going to lock up the country or even lock up the region mm. um just as we are getting into the december group absolutely not um I, th I think every citizen every namibian citizen expects our president to be a reasonable man yeah in yeah. times like this yeah so it would only be reasonable to impose some measures mm. to try and make sure that this tries to, that he, yeah. he he does something to keep it under control yeah, yeah. the best that that he can with his government of course mm. yeah. what if we just makes vaccination compulsory 
Uh, mm. That would probably come down the line. Yeah, um, but, yeah but not mm. now. Definitely but not, not but now. not now. We don't yeah. have enough vaccines for the whole nation. Yeah, mm. yeah. I personally also think that uh, the president will. I think curfew will come back, yeah. and uh, the five hundred uh, attendance or crowd number. Yeah. I can see that is coming, way too high at the moment. Yeah, no. mm-hmm. it's going to so that will be reduced. Yeah. Um, obviously, as a father of of three. Um, men who like to go out over weekends, uh, who comes and uh, bother my wife at three in the morning Uh to open doors Mm -hmm. uh, for them. Uh, I personally have no problem if curfew will be brought back. Uh, My sons are not happy about this family meeting of this morning at 10 o'clock. Okay. I don't care if they're not happy. I am so happy that the president will bring back curfews so that I can have my kids at home by at least 11. Maybe yes. it's not 10, but if the curfew can be 11 o'clock, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Chill, but by 10.30, be home. You know what was... Do you, know, do you know what was really cool? Just two more minutes, please. Do you know what was really cool? Mm. In When we were the generation, exactly. remember, we had parties that we could do yes. everything. Else. We did not have viruses and he, stuff. Uh, it's their virus. <laughs> curfew. <laughs> I think curfew should be, at the, at, it should be according to age. People um, of the age of Neville and Kaufi, yeah. they are allowed to stay out until 2 o'clock. <laughs> People like Maria, they must be in bed by 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here's the problem uh, with that. What? Uh, what people of your age are not going to go out if people of my age are at home. It's a... But But I tell you, the, 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 the debate, the family debates <laughs> that we had the past, you know, this past weekend mm-hmm. as to lockdown or no lockdown. It just divided my family again, yeah, yeah. my friends again, because everyone feels self-righteous that my opinion is what matters. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, and yours is a shitty opinion. Exactly. That is how it's been <laughs> over the past yeah. weekend. I think <laughs> I'm the demon here because I feel that, you know what, uh, I don't want the regions to be closed. There are yeah. families and friends of mine who feel, let's close the regions we need to go into a hard lockdown for the <laughs> next two weeks, mm. etc. And um, uh, Neville, uh, that is very, very irresponsible of you to talk like that, uh, saying that the regions must stay open, that businesses must stay open. open. Like, yes. I'm speaking from a place of privilege. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. They're speaking yeah. from a place of privilege. I mean, apart yeah. from the fact that some people need to continue working. Yes. Um, I think if you are at home with your kids, you can say that. My kids are not with me. Yes. I need I need to travel. I need yeah. to be able to travel to go see my kids uh. and spend Christmas with my kids. Mm. Uh, it would do me no good if the, 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 the country is locked down and nobody can come in, nobody can go out because then it means I won't spend Christmas with my children. So, again, these things are everybody does speak from their own perspective privilege. Mm. from their own privilege mm. from the little bubble yeah. um, and just by the way as you're saying this i'm seeing in the front page this is fourth wave here but don't panic mm. and i just thought if the president locks us down we will panic because it's yes. like yeah what what don't we know what yeah. is this you understand i know i'm going to panic if he locks us down if, yeah. if, if you just read your just curfew i'll just see it as you know okay yeah like you're just kind of doing you know based on the numbers what is right but if you lock us down that seems, seems so severe then i will start thinking that you guys yeah. have discovered omicron or something else mm-hmm. that we don't know about mm-hmm. yeah. rose says it has been reported that the omicron has the ability to eliminate the delta which is more deadly while omicron is a very mild virus so that they are actually encouraging that they remove travel restrictions and allow Omicron to spread. What are your takes on the on this Neville and Maria? Uh, I, I, I think we've declared ourselves, or I've declared myself on this. Um, this uh, the, the minister himself says, don't panic, okay? Um, yes, the numbers are, are surging at the moment. Because why? Because people are getting tested. Get the, yeah. Because why? Because people need to travel. Yeah, but, but based on that comment, my, my opinion is exactly uh, that. It's you have Omicron in basically almost all of Europe now. 
um, you have it in Israel, you have it in the States, you have it everywhere. So exactly, travel ban is the most ridiculous thing because how are you banning certain countries and not others? So yes, remove Hello. the ban. Remove the, it's the most ridiculous thing. Remove the ban. Just Jeez. see. Reduce the number of gatherings and curfews must return. This is what um, Emilia Magoja says. Yeah. Tayshon says, people of Vinduk, please don't include us in your lockdown. Jelle sal alleen op lockdown gaan los ons eet. Now, Tayshon, waar is jy? I thought you stayed in Don't tell London. me he's from Wolfers Bay. Yeah, ek wonder, <laughs> then he needs to shut up. Exactly, because they started all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, yeah. the, the other conversations are basically just <laughs> personal stuff uh, that we don't yeah. really need to read mm-hmm. yeah so uh, coffee uh, oh, yeah so 10 the o'clock is the is the big talk yeah yeah, yeah okay. we'll wait we'll wait we'll okay just a uh, brief look at the weather for today the forecast for today the 6th of december the interior in namibia partly cloudy and hot in the north with a few thunder showers in the far north and the northeast elsewhere sunny and warm to hot in certain places looking at Vintuk today 28 degrees maximum not too bad for Vintuk yeah. Wolf is Bay and Swakopmund both at 23 and 24 respectively Katima Mulilu 32 and then going to the northwestern side of the country um, we go to Shines Shandima's place Omuthia mm. 36 degrees in Omuthia th- uh, 34 in Ondangwa coming down to Ochivadronkwort in mm. Ochivadronk <laughs> 35, Rio Bot at 28, Marintal at 36, and Kitmansup 26. Irritates her de manier. I say, Hubabas 35 degrees, Betapos 36, and that is your weather for today. Omuthia, yeah, the place where men are men and sheep are nervous. Yes, and dog <laughs> is what is a delicatessen of who shines? Smos Omuthia, donkey, no dog. Is it delicatessen? Really? Yeah. Oh, not. Oh, donkeys, Uchu. <laughs> no, it's the Omthia area. They eat dogs. Yeah, mm. I was there. So I was too. there David a few months ago. <laughs> no, it's a delicacy. They don't Who let the monks. dogs out? <laughs> but would you try it? Neville, would you try it? No. If, no. If, if you were there and you ate it, you wouldn't know it. your experience. How can you no, eat man's that, best that's friend? That's not true. That's not true. I asked that because... Apparently, a dog dog meat in Omuthia area is it's a delicacy. They're it's not a just delicacy. they're not going to sell it in the market. Yeah, they're not just going to give it to anybody. They yeah. will give it to people that want it. It's yes. you have to know you're eating dog meat yeah. because it's a delicacy. It's so a they're not going to just going to throw it in the pot for you. Oh, yeah. okay. How is uh, about? Uh, do you have any evidence to prove your allegations? Uh, yes. I have to. I don't. I, I don't. Yes. I don't need evidence. I mean, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> there, there was a video on on Facebook. Mm. They were like cooking a dog. Wow. Like, and they ne? it and What's yeah, a favorite dog? A Labrador or what? Dachshund. <laughs> a hot, a hot dog. <laughs> 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 I think I think the short haired ones cause less labor uh, less yeah. labor. Oh so less right. Yeah, probably Not probably the your ones. your Shines. your Dobermanish type of pincher type of. Uh, but you just we're not gonna find Jack a Dobermanish pincher in in Omuthia. Yo. Ne? And <laughs> this is the time that the dogs are nervous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For yeah, for my the part, they can bry all Payment pit bulls. Special. You know, I was so upset with the SPCA yesterday. Um, when I went there, they had so many questions just because I want to adopt a turkey this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man. Yeah. If he gets that serious face, I know. <laughs> then wait uh, for Tangeni his. with the capital <coughs> says, is Shines also going to interrogate the president and minister of health? The same way he did Commissioner Basson at 10. Yeah, he's going to do that. Yeah. And the message of Anfra, did we apologize to Shines? For what? M- Maria, did you apologize to Shines? Is it AKSJ? Is it me? Yeah. It, it was you. No, it oh, was did you. what? It was you. Was you, never. you. Oh, no, it's Eka. <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> Leila uh, Sebastiao says, dog meat in Amothea is a delicacy highball. Uh, uh, Norma Good says, good morning, MMC family. Uh, too much conspiracies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just uh, before we do start with the, with the, with the, um, uh, with our show, just a little bit of sports news. Uh, I think the sporting event, and I'm just mentioning it, not the fact that Man United has won a match again over the weekend. I believe they played Crystal Palace. They won 1-0. 
uh, they're really on the up with a new coach. Yeah. Uh, Arsenal is playing this evening I, against Everton away. I don't see much happening there. Um, so we'll, we'll see. But the news of the weekend in, in sport was definitely last night uh, with the Saudi Arabia Formula One Grand Prix race where Lewis Hamilton pipped Max Verstappen in the last three, four laps to equal the points in the driver championship, which poises this championship uh, for this coming weekend in Abu Dhabi. It's going to be the last race of the season Lewis Hamilton stands the chance to win eight unprecedented Formula One championships. And he will. <sighs> I think he will. Those Arabs will be there in numbers this weekend. But he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna. Take it. The the problem is here. Um, if Lewis Hamilton wins, um, I think Max Verstappen have to do extremely bad if max verstappen ends second then verstappen still wins the championship mm -hmm. because he's got more wins this year uh, head to head mm. so um we we hope Ma max verstappen becomes crazy as he normally does and he ends up seventh eighth or ninth and then hamilton can win the title but it's really it's uh it's it's uh it's very very exciting everybody last night a lot of people who watch formula one i mean if you s saw the groups etc it was it, it was really something to behold but yes oh my white friends hate hamilton yeah, we know why. they hate lewis hamilton is it because he's black or what they hate hamilton like they hate f yet the clerk and they have no explanation why they hate these two why do you hate Hamilton? Me, yeah, fuck, I hou net nie van die man nie. Sê my, hoekom hou jy nie van F. W. de Klerk nie? He says, why it is you? Me, yeah. yeah, fuck, I hou <laughs> net nie van die man nie. Uh, one guy actually told me it's because of uh, the way he dresses. And yes, that one. I, I, I hate him because he dresses like... <laughs> what does the guy's dress code have to do with him being a good driver? I mean, you guys wear felt scone every day and you don't see me. <laughs> I'm gonna use that one. I will use it. Jelle, ne? Jelle, dra fel skune. Elke dag. Elke dag. And you want to come and talk about Lewis Hamilton's dress code. And they even go car food <laughs> to shopping. <laughs> that I don't understand. Yeah. So why? Why do they do that? Yeah, yeah. Heinrich Afenia says, go Lewis, go Max is arrogant. Yeah, yeah. And they accuse uh, Lewis of being arrogant. Yeah. There we go. So, uh, let's start off with uh, the news of the weekend. Uh, Pride takes center stage. Uh, hundreds of Namibians joined this year's Namibian Pride Parade as it wound its way through Vinduk on Saturday, marking the end of a week filled with activities organized around celebrating Namibia's LGBTQ community. This year's Pride, organized by Namibia Equal Rights Movement, uh, uh, was held as one of the biggest ever and was uh, joined by Namibians identifying as queer and their friends, family and allies. Special guests include Mr. Gay World, Low Breitenbach, who flew in from South Africa, and award-winning philanthropist Tony McPherson. The parade ended a year that saw LGBTQ rights take center stage and include landmark court cases revolving around the equal rights of Namibia's queer community. The parade was a joyful bookend to a number of protests that took place this year in response to what some have said are government policies and laws this discriminate against LGBTQ Namibians and their families. Uh, Tuva, were you there? No, I wasn't. I, you know I had to isolate. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. you so had to I isolate. Couldn't, yeah, I couldn't go anywhere this weekend. Okay. I would, I would have been there if I could. Um, but you know, I was just saying, like, it, like sometimes I feel like I'm in a time warp here in Namibia because yesterday at the close of um, <coughs> this Pride Week, um, they drew uh, the second in Africa, Africa's second street walk with the LGBTQ uh, plus flag. Mm. Um, they're in front of Brewers. So if you drive there in front of Brewers, it's currently there. It will be there for uh, for the next year. Mm. And it's the second... What now? What will be there? The pavement with the uh-huh. flag. Uh-huh. It's the second ever for Africa. Uh-huh. I think the first being South Africa is one. And this this is... And this is what I said. Like, I feel like I'm in a time warp because... Like, the one side is, like, we're a highly homophobic country mm. that has, like, very anti-progressive laws in terms of the LGBTQ community... And the other side is like we're breaking records as the second mm. African country mm. to have like a, 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 a crossing a, a LGBT uh, pavement. It's like, like I feel like I'm in a time I'm like lost. I don't really know where we are as a society. I, I like yes, good, but is it like does it really represent our country and where we are? So clearly there is there is pushback. There is really people within the community that are trying to like say look we, we, you're gonna recognize us you're gonna see us and you, you whether you want to or not no, yeah and i mean that's commendable but yeah props it was a really good pride week they really they really went all out yeah 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 it, it's it's all good okay that you people are being recognized okay but i have one personal problem here uh. with what happened on saturday uh. i mean i see this picture here okay on the front page uh-huh. of a very reputable newspaper. How can you people go and post in front of a statue of Semni Yoma? Uh, yeah. What? So do you people <coughs> not have respect? <laughs> that you, can't you take your protest someplace? <laughs> oh, they might buy it. This, I think this is the most, you know, <coughs> when I saw this picture this morning, and I, I, it's, it's, it's on several uh, front pages of, of the dailies today, yeah. where you see uh, 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 the, uh, the, the hundreds of, you know, Namibian, the Pride Parade community of Namibia uh, 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 posting in, in, in front of this our museum yeah. the percolators he was sending a and, message and no, he was sending a clear message yeah. and the guy in front omar he's got his hand lifted like like, like sam yoma why and and knowing it's omar so he's one of the organizers of equal rights yeah. Namibia. Yeah. but knowing omar like that is that was deliberate, deliberate. and they i love sending, it he was sending yeah, a message sending a very strong message uh and it was a bad week for jerry akando it was a pride week jerry <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> Jerry Akanjo. Our, our guy, Jerry Akanjo. Mm. Yeah. It was a bad week for our guy. It, it, definitely a bad week. Yeah. I, th- I wonder what Jerry thinks about this week. <laughs> and see a picture <laughs> of... I think the, pr- the, 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 the first thing he's probably going to say, I did not know that there are so many. <laughs> I thought there are only two gay people in Namibia. Nungwari <laughs> Hanakam. <laughs> Is that the whole country is infested by these people? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Jerry's gonna be mad about yeah. that pavement. Yeah, but but again, you know what? Um, I'm I'm all for equal rights. I'm all for this. You don't have to be gay or lesbian or whatever mm-hmm. uh, to to understand uh, people's rights. And uh, and and when I saw the banner as I was driving through Independence Avenue. Um, because there was this banner across Home Affairs, a street banner mm-hmm. that basically simplified uh, or signified uh, this pride. I think it's the is it a is it is it the flag? No, no, no! It's a banner. Oh, I mean, oh. across the road. Oh, yeah. Um, and 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 it's very very evident as you drive through Independence mm-hmm. Avenue. I was like, oh, wow, good. I didn't know that this is allowed. That's how ignorant some of us are. Mm. I didn't know that. I mean, at the level of, of what I see here, I mean, this is good. Mm. And the founding father will probably have something to say about nah, that. Nah, let, let oh, it's, it's out. No, nobody listens to that anymore. Mm. <laughs> 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 that, Never. Let me people have their time right, to keep it moving. Rovieras. 
<laughs> the Germans throw sweets when they do parades. What they should be throwing mar, is mar I lost. <laughs> mar I lost. They, mar. Should, they, should be thro- they should be throwing title deeds. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I was always at that. Uh, what, what do you call that a parade that they always do? Germans, uh, uh, Vika. 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 Yeah. Uh, I, I used to love it, man. When I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jerry Akanjo is having heart murmurs about this. This is what TJ Donatello is saying. Uh, uh, what else is here? Hey, Tayshon. You. Jelene. Uh, uh. Yeah. Okay. If former Mr. Gay was there, then so he was there. Seriously, did you have to go there with what the? What did he say? Yeah. He says. Uh, uh, did former Mr. Gay also attend the event with a half nipple? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this one that attended was the Mr. Gay, I think, World. world. Yeah, it's Mr. South Gay Africa. World. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Mr. Gay Namibia. Yeah, it was not Mr. Gay Namibia. Yeah, that's. Namibia only had one Mr. Gay in here. Is there another one? I don't know. Ah, I don't, I, I don't think there's another one. I think it's, it's only. What's his name? Bondelinus. Don't they do it every year or something? Wendelinus. Yeah, it's funny, you know, because Wendelinus is the only Mr. Gay that I remember. I don't think he's the only one, but he's probably definitely the most visible. Glamorous, most yeah, visible. Most hyper, yeah, most, yeah, like he's hyper And he's vocal. Yeah. Yes, yes. He's, I and he's vocal. Most, I think he's the most visible one. I don't yeah. think he's the only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in other news, I believe uh, a few weeks ago we... Uh, reported on the employee um, who worked at uh, China Town, uh, who got stripped by her work, uh, her employer. Mm-hmm. Um, she is currently suing her employer for five hundred thousand Namibian dollars. A former employee of a Chinese shop in Bundaberg, who was forced to strip off her uniform in public by a former boss last month, is suing for five hundred thousand dollars. Uh, for the humiliation and degrading of her dignity. Itakeya George, uh, she's 24 years old, on Friday filed a lawsuit at the Vinduk High Court demanding $500,000 compensation for from a former employer, Lee Bailong. Um, she is uh, represented by a lawyer, Henry Shimutwikeni. Uh, Lee, a Chinese national, was arrested on the 8th of November, two days after he allegedly dismissed George and forced her to take off her uniform in full view of fellow staff members and customers at his fabric store in Benux, Chinatown. Do you guys think she will succeed in this, uh, Mitch? In I want her to succeed. Yeah. See, I think she should have just said like two million or four million dollars. Yeah. She should have asked for more, but I want her to succeed. Mm. But it's very rare in Namibia. Like when we have these Chinese mm. issues, always they come out as victors. Always. Mm, yeah. Like even when they shot a guy, I think in Caprivi. Nee. Is it Caprivi? Just one yeah. of Just putting oh, okay, another correction. Be, yeah. Yeah. Mm. They shot a guy. Mm. I don't know if those guys were even uh, uh, prosecuted. Convicted. Prosecuted. Mm. I but haven't heard about it. Maria, what do you think? Okay, just a bit of correction. Um, mm. the, the guys are. The case is ongoing, so you okay. can't really say that mm. they're, 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 they're victors. Mm. And also, I, I also don't know if it's fair to say that they're usually victors because we haven't really seen them being sued. Mm. It's not very common that. I mean, you need to remember that you, w- most of the staff don't have resources, the resources to take uh, their employers to court, court yeah. or to even sue them in like a civil matter. So, I mean, we, we don't really know. I, I, like I'm just saying, it's not. A, I think it's a, f- a fair assessment to say they usually are victors. Mm. I think this is a unique case. This is, I think, one of the first few times that we're seeing, if not the first time, where we're seeing an employee challenging um, yeah. their Chinese boss, yeah. which is great. Um, do I think that she's asking for what? Four hundred thousand? Five hundred. Five hundred thousand. Mm. She probably won't walk away with five hundred thousand. In all fairness, but she could definitely walk away with something because. Uh, clearly she was humiliated and 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 there is compensation for that uh to be so publicly humiliated and i mean to 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 be asked to dress down while there's an audience um you can really make a good argument and she has uh henry is one of those uh young lawyers that's very vested and uh is really for the cause so (coughs) i i think she she definitely can walk away with um yeah 
a, a good settlement. I yep. think she should now that we speak about it. And I think uh, that's basically the sentiment where of a lot of people here in the comments. Like TJ Donatello says, she should have sued for more mula. Mm -hmm. Who advised her to only sue for five hundred thousand dollars? Realistic she, numbers. Yeah, but I do think this. She. You have to. You have to argue for it. You mm, can't just you suck a, 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 mm. a number out of your thumb mm. yeah. and say, oh. I'm suing for 10 million. Okay, yeah. when you go to the court, your yeah. lawyer has to justify why. why. You yeah. have to mm. tell the court why. So, mm. guys, it's not like you, mm. you you might want to ask for more, but yeah. you have to be able to. And maybe the lawyer is saying, we can justify. We can talk about trauma and all these things. Mm. We can justify 500,000. And even asking for 500,000 is mm. not to say you're going to get the whole 500,000. Yeah. I mean, the, the judge could rule for 250 or 200,000 or mm. 100,000 or whatever. Mm. So she probably won't walk away with the full full settlement. But yeah. Yeah. Never. Mary, uh, but why do you think the, the Chinese always treat our people like that? Like even if I go to Chinatown, I mm. see it happening. Mm. The way they speak to their staff, the way they like. Because they have the audacity. Yeah. They're protected. And I've said this again yeah. time and time in studio. Um, when you allow people to, to come into your country mm -hmm. and uh, you don't give them strict rules to abide by and you don't ensure that they abide by those rules because largely uh you feel indebted to their country in the sense that well you know Chi china is a friend when we need funding or we need loans this is the first place we'll go to so you kind of cheat them with these kid gloves and i always say if you allow people to come into your country where you they don't have to follow the labor laws they don't have to to treat people with human dignity and this and that they don't have to bank here they so they're not even paying taxes in your country and so forth you allow people to have the audacity to start thinking that the rules don't apply to them that yeah. uh, they they are uh, they follow a different set of rules that they are above everybody that they're special that mindset is exactly what you're saying why they do speak down on us why they do look down on us why they think they can do whatever they want to us and a lot of times they get away with it because people don't actually go to the extent of ensuring that they are brought to book mm. so this is good it's yeah, a good it's thing that somebody is bringing them to book and let it be a lesson it's a good to thing that <laughs> They had Betty Davids. I always say Betty Davids. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Must Betty Davids them. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I just don't understand how long we will be held at ransom by certain countries who helped us 30, 40 years yes, ago yeah. in our fight for independence. And this at the expense of our own people currently i mean as you guys uh, clearly lay out exactly what kind of treatment um, namibians are getting uh, especially now i mean that uh, what what we are experiencing with the chinese uh, 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 for so many years in our country that is really just unacceptable yeah. i i hope she sucks him out and dry for every any of that five hundred thousand yeah. Namibian dollars, Absolutely. so that it sends a clear message to the Chinese community in this country as to what the laws or the human rights laws are in this country. That's that's all I can say. And I think most of the times uh, our people don't take it that far because it gets really expensive. Now, your lawyer fees mm. thing. Like also how much do you have to pay a lawyer just to open a file? Hello, yeah, Mark yeah, yeah, three yeah. block. Yeah, yeah. That Easily. Is, that, that is exactly why people don't take it. But, and I think this case specifically is it's a strong case because even how she was dismissed, guys, she was dismissed because somebody asked for material. Yeah. She cut material for the client. Mm -hmm. The client goes to the teller to pay, mm -hmm. finds out they don't swipe, uh -huh. said, I want you to withdraw money. I'll come and get this cloth. Mm. The customer leaves the shop, leaves the cloth in the shop, obviously, leaves apparently to go to an ATM, never came back, and then the boss wanted the woman who cut the material yeah. to pay for it. And she was like, I'm not paying for it. I mean, it's not my fault that the customer <laughs> didn't come back. Yeah. And just like that, fired on the spot, put, take out your uniform. I'm not even going to let you go home with it. Take out your uniform and leave it here. You're leaving my shop. That's a strong case because you've broken every single rule, um, labor law at, at the very least, mm. already by doing that. So I think she has a very strong case. 
uh, Sean Michael says, but it's not just the Chinese, it's all foreigners do it. Especially uh, the yeah. Chinese. Uh, especially, the especially the Chinese. Especially the Chinese. Yeah. Mm. Jürgen Kesep says, we will be held at ransom until the last we fought for this country, soldier falls. <laughs> yeah. Um, ben Daniel Nakambonde says, charity starts at home. If we treat our people badly, what are we expecting from foreigners? Uh, you Can know, you imagine a Namibian point? in China hmm? addressing a Chinese? Please. Hello. In, in China, Hello. in their country. Just imagine it. A Namibian starts a show. First of all, I don't really think that Namibians are doing much businesses. They, mm. uh, there's a few. But anyway, you go to China to start a business and then a, a Chinese person that works for you does that and you mm. address them while other Chinese people are watching. You're, You're going to learn. In what society? You're gonna learn. In what society? Please. Mm. The while audacity, seven Bruce Lee's are watching you. <laughs> seven Bruce Lee's are watching you and you want to <laughs> fight the other Bruce Lee. I'm you wanna, you. Uh, uh, you're going to learn that thing. Ro Viera, <coughs> very true, Ro. Uh, and Ro, you're right. I get all the van of videos al gesien. Now, mm. black people are treated in China. Yeah. Ro says, Chinese are just as racist. Ask the guys studying in China. The color black is taboo to them. Uh, Jürgen Geisep says, Chinese are just arrogant, rude, and unscrupulous beings. And sadly, Namibia is being sold to them. Taishon says, are you guys aware the Chinese wanted to build their army base in Wolfish Bay? Yeah. Everything was approved. Thanks, one president, for stopping it. <coughs> the audacity. The audacity. But then again, America has an army base in Botswana. Yep. I'm just saying. So if the Americans can do it, China can do it. Yeah. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Is it China or was it Korea? I think it was China. No, 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 no. I think no, it no. was Korea. I think, I think it Korea. was Korea. It was Korea. There's a difference. They, they are all Oriental people. <laughs> but please, don't confuse the one with you the know, other. For us, all Asians are Chinese. Yeah, yeah. no. Not all Asian people are Chinese. I think it was... I don't think it was the Korea. Chinese, so very Korea. It was the yeah, Korea. I know about the Korea thing mm. uh, um, in in the south. Uh, yeah, no, I think I think Wolfish Wolfish Bay is, was the Koreans. Okay. If Shivola says our law is very weak and it's very frustrating at times, may she win the case, uh, Father Lord T J Donatello Njothe says, can't imagine what would happen if that person disappear. Who now? The Chinese person that's being sued. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. But never, like, don't you think some of those guys that are coming here to start businesses must be in full of da, men said, what come again? They just, they just also want to get rid of those guys and, like, yo, get, take five, five million and go start a business in Africa. And, and that's the thing we don't know. These people come here. Do we screen these people? Uh, I, I, no with, uh, not, not necessarily okay but let me let me be very clear it doesn't matter if they're killers or whatever because if they are they would have done their sentence so it's not people that are being released out of prison before they are done mm -hmm. with their sentences it would be then and by the way if you murder in china it's not easy to get off mm. so it's yeah, not necessarily china. murderers chinese when it comes to that that is a serious offense you will do life they, they even believe in in the death penalty just by the yeah. way mm -hmm. yeah. so so it's not necessarily murderers mm. all right it can be your thieves and whatever mm -hmm. but um once you release from prison you're given a new lease of life you're not necessarily treated like a criminal right but um but the are they not is it probably not those people that we're talking about? No, no, about? those people we're talking about, the, the prisoners we're talking about for those type of crimes was when, for example, they were building the Shakati State Hospital. So a Chinese contract had it, a, a Ch Chinese contract, and what they did is they would bring in the workforce from China. Mm. And when they would bring in the workforce from China, they would bring in now your, your prisoners for petty crimes, whatever, to, to, to you know, so that mm -mm. not to pay them for cheap labor. Cheap, cheap labor, yeah. So, to, so that's what they were bringing. But for people that start businesses here is, is the people that uh, apply to the Development Bank of China mm. um, to get funding and to get a loan. You obviously are vetted. You have to, you know, mm -hmm. get the regulations and whatever, whatever. And then you get your funding. And then that funding... Is now allows them to come into Namibia. Almost not just Namibia. Really, most countries in the world they've got a Chinatown. Mm. 
Mm. So you can go to some place in the world where there's a Chinatown and, st- start, and start your business there. Um, and that's essentially why they don't bank here because yeah. they take their money out because they need to pay their loans back home. Mm. They have mm. heavy loans. And in China, you, if you owe government, you're going to pay government. DJ Donatello Jothe says overpopulation in China is basically causing mass, I- mass immigration yep. into Africa. Yep. Uh, done well. Jake C. Dino says we will attach the shop if we disappear and sell the elegant material on auction. <laughs> we will surely get the funds. Make the woman the new owner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Rose says that Lee guy will just go work in the shop next door. Those guys look alike. <laughs> you are so racist. <laughs> Sis Ro. <laughs> Amelia Magoja says America also wanted to build a base in Warfish Bay. That's why they moved to Botswana. And then China wanted us to give them a harbor, but Namibia gave it to Zimbabwe instead. Okay, um, I believe, uh, you know, the human rights abuses in China, not, not just talking about uh, foreigners, but even their own people. We have a situation now, because I'm obviously an ardent tennis follower, because my daughter plays tennis. Oh, the rape saga. Yeah, the, the rape saga, uh, if you guys don't know, there's a rape saga going on in China at the moment. Chinese where, player. Where the, uh, the top Chinese tennis player mm-hmm. on the ATP circuit, um, um, she confirmed that um, she was coerced by a government official into a sexual affair or relationship Mm -hmm. and she talked about this publicly now in china you go missing you go missing okay you can play with those officials if we think about way before most of you guys probably on this on this on the on the stream was born or were born uh, Tenement Square was a day of revolt of the Chinese public. Yeah. That was in the early 80s. The government shot and killed those people at point blank. Yep. So, um, China, fatikaki. Not at all. That's unfortunately how the Chinese government works. Um, if there's any revolt as to what the Chinese government is doing, um yeah you go missing so this chinese tennis player um, uh, we still not too sure where where is uh, uh, you know the whereabouts of her uh, the uh, the world tennis um basically canceled all international tennis tournaments in china until there is proof as to where this girl is yeah, yeah. so uh, but some countries have really funny laws <laughs> mm. like yeah. japan do you know this guy that actually shot a girl in france in uh. paris actually and then uh, uh he ate her and then they ex uh what do you call extradite it? yeah into uh, to japan and japan doesn't have a law against cannibalism and he was free and just doing those documents what yeah he was free he didn't serve time well, it's that the same as sick. a woman who killed her two kids in Addis Ababa. She's free here, but that's it. Ah, yeah. 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 But anyway, I wanted to say, um, the I, I went to China recently, before COVID hit. Mm. And um, as you much as... You traveled to China about three years ago, eh? Two year, yeah, two, about two years ago. Mm. Um, and the the thing with China is, uh, as much as China has its flaws and it's all these things, what, what I look to China... What I like to look to China is where they are a functioning government, right? Where they are a... Fu- basically, what can we take from China? Mm. And, and as much as, you know, we are, we are crying foul and whatever, and justifiably so, there is so much we can take from China. For example, you know the Chinese, um, they are nationalists. Mm. They are that... Very patriot- strong. That patriotism mm. mm-hmm. is ingrained in, ch- in a Chinese from the time they are born. Uh, it doesn't matter if a Chinese is in Namibia, is in the U.S., is in Hawaii, is in Jamaica, is wherever in the world. That is a proud Chinese. Mm-hmm. Mm. All the time. Consistently. Co- like You cannot stop the nationalism in them. That's the first thing which I think if, if more like 
people Namibians. from their respective, not just Namibians, <laughs> from their respective country were proud of their country, that would see like just, it, it, it will trickle down in other ways. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. The second thing is, in terms of technology, so you find TikTok is, is Japanese, but let's find a TikTok oh, version. Oh, TikTok is Japanese. Yeah, 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 TikTok is Japanese, oh, okay. right? So, by the way, the Japanese are also just like, much like the Chinese as mm -hmm. well in terms of all yeah. this thing. Maybe just to a, a greater extent because I actually love Japanese, right? No, I love the Japanese. But, but the, the, the Chinese, for example, let's talk about mobile phones. Mm. The Chinese have a version of what essentially is TikTok for younger minds, right? So from your, let's say, kids have devices or phones from the age of 8 to, say, 16, right? They have uh, 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 something that is the equivalent of TikTok. But go look at the content they're getting on there. It's techno stuff, mm. technological stuff mm. about how science things, about how to build a car, about how to develop uh, a program. Mm -hmm. This is the stuff that they are being fed, <coughs> right? Because they're all about their science and their maths and their innovation. This is the stuff that the young minds are being fed, not outfits of the day and you have a better yeah. house than me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's techno stuff. But here's the thing. At, at I think, 8 o'clock, there's a complete blackout of those, of those apps, meaning you can't post and you can't go on. They, you, they black them out from 8 <laughs> to, say, 12 the next day. <coughs> And that's so that kids are not stuck on the devices, so that there's not a social pressure to be on those devices during those hours, because mm. it's a blackout for everybody. Mm. So you can't even see, maybe because, you know, there's this thing of a mind of a kid where if they're on a device, if your friends are on a device, you're not, you're like, you won't even sleep because you're like, what are my friends posting? What are yeah. my friends doing? What, mm -hmm. are, like, what am I missing out on? Your, your brain is too active. So they shut it down. There's no, and, and it's those things that I'm like, if we can get to a place where we develop our children's minds like the Chinese are developing their children's minds uh, will yeah. be unstoppable. Uh, somebody told me um, who stay who travels to China and do business in China on a regular basis somebody told me the average time a Chinese 12 year old comes home after all your day's activities is around 10 o'clock at night. Yes. That is how hard Chinese people work. Yeah. The average time a Chinese child comes home from school, activities, sport, science, science this, extramural that. activities is 10 o'clock at night. But that's also when you're catching a train to get home and all this. Hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no way that a country like that cannot be successful. Yeah, yeah. And China doesn't sleep, by the way. And, 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 and you know what? We can say whatever it is that we want to say about the Chinese. Um, uh, when, when they started off their industrial revolution about 20, 25 years ago, when it comes to manufacturing, mm -hmm. they told, the Chinese told themselves, this is the next frontier. This is what we're going to be doing. And they basically took over this world. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the second largest economy of the world. And you know what's interesting? My, uh, my kids, <coughs> when they were here at the St. Paul's, um, the, ch the Chinese kid in their class was the best at maths. And I know that because like my son, it wasn't the child was in my daughter's class, but that was the person that my son was constant, because my son's also good in maths, right? That's the kid he was always trying to compete with. Like when uh -huh. he's talking about a test, it's like, that's the kid he wants to beat. Mm. It's, it's a girl. And, and funny enough, at the current school as well, there's uh, also a child that came at the same time they did. And they keep telling me when I talk to them, like how that kid is good in maths. Uh-huh. It's very rare to find a Chinese kid that is not good, good in math. Yeah. Yeah. I, it I does not the, happen. I checked the video on Facebook mm. where <coughs> a Chinese uh, kid, uh, a girl, she was doing a uh, sub, sub uh, what do we call it? Subtraction. Eh? Yeah. Subtraction and uh, um, is it times and whatever, addition or what. So she was doing it in another way that mm. I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. And it's the most easiest way. <laughs> but and our and you know how we were taught mm. that stuff how to do that when you were no no no, 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 no. And please all that. talk for yourself I yeah. can't even remember what you're talking about 
That's how, um, that's how dumb I am when it comes to Simultaneous yeah. equations. M- Mitchell, yeah. let me just read this comment. Says, uh, Mitchell says, nope, it's not about pride. They are censored. You can't speak yeah. ill about their government. People go missing. If you do such, where is Jack Ma currently? I get what you're saying, but I'm saying cens- cens- censorship is what makes you mm-hmm. a nationalist. If mm-hmm. you grow up being fed a message mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's that your your president is the best your country is the best uh, you are the best you, nobody will ever compare this and that mm. and chinese that is is uh, that censorship is ultimately what gives you that nationalism and it is they are uh, by the way there's a lot bad about china that i'm not even going yeah. to defend <laughs> but they do ingrain the nationalism from mm. a young age whether that censorship or what dictatorship or whatever you want to call it yeah, I mean, yeah. you're not wrong. Penda, Penda uh, um, said that um, uh, he, he figured that she resurfaced. Yes, I read that also. But Amelia Magoja says uh, she didn't. She They made up an email about how she's fine, but people don't believe it. Mitchell Mutumba Simata says Americans are very proud. Uh, the huge beings, <laughs> not, not all Americans. Very proud and racist. Uh, I believe, and it's just my personal view, uh, the last people to speak ill, or who should speak ill, of what China is doing is, are Americans. In my humble view, uh, Americans, what yeah. happens in their country, let's not even start there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've never been to America. I don't have any... You're not missing out on much. I don't f- have any, any desire. desire to go to America because what am I going to go? I, I only travel to a country for two reasons. Mm-hmm. Food. It's for the food and the scenery. Yeah. Mm. I don't like your food. Yeah. Keep your pizzas, your hamburgers, your burgers, and your yeah. ribs. Yeah. I don't need it. Okay? It's here. Yeah, your scenery, you know, the Colorados, the etc., the mountains, this, it is beautiful, but please. You don't yearn for them. I don't, I don't yearn for it. Uh, uh, I would like this to this question, mm, <coughs> this question of, or this statement of Ben Daniel Nakambonde. We as Namibians are too tolerant. And that might work against us as a nation in the long run. My question to you guys, and I saw this comment a little bit earlier. Are we as Namibians or Africans too tolerant? Is it not tolerance that landed us where we are today? Yeah. <laughs> but like, as we grow up, like you were taught to always forgive. Like we are, we're the type of, like, it was like, I... Just leave it to God. Just leave it to what we are. That type of people, like mm. just leave it to God. God will handle it. You know, we are that type of people. Ever since, like, even our mothers are like that. Like, if we just speak about it, and if we just speak on it, like accommodative, our mothers are like that. They will always be like, "Oh, my mama, I from you and no feel hell." Like, ah, los God shall foreseen. You know, we are like that. We 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 don't take things into uh, unknown honor. Mm. Like we would rather like give it to a higher power. Are, like are we, we are we too docile as a people? I, I, first of all, I I uh, I think we are tolerant to foreigners. We are tolerant to. I don't think we're necessarily toler- tolerant with each other. I don't. Yeah. Let me let me start there. We, I mean, we've spoken so much time about tribalism in this studio. We've spoken so much about homophobia in this in this studio. We've spoken so much about sexism and misogyny in this, in this. Um, we've even spoken about racism in this studio, right? So clearly, we don't have the necessary tolerance for each other, mm-hmm. right? But we do have it for a lot of times for for foreigners, foreigners, foreigners yeah. Or people that we deem of a higher value, value than yeah. ourselves. It's this thing where we're saying, for example, you a cashier will not smile with a black, you know, customer, but let Manier, um, mm. and Kobus, Stockholm, Dunners at a Briet smile. And so it's our programming. So I, I, th- I think, yeah. are we, are we a largely tolerant society? Yeah, perhaps. Um, we're not the most violent of societies. At what expense? Uh, but 
I also don't think we exercise enough tolerance with each other. So I don't know. I think it's a give and take. Good point. Good point. I I personally I agree that I think we need to exercise a little bit more tolerance towards each other. Yeah. Uh, and and that is I think our our national pride will emanate from there. Mm. But if we're gonna continuously slander our fellow Namibians. Um, at the expense of, at the expense of, of yeah. then there's no, then we will always be taken for granted by foreigners. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's 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 probably very very easy, and it's I think in the history of Africa, it's it's always been easy to put us against each other. Yeah, yeah. No wonder why twenty five million Africans was sold in the transatlantic slave trade in the past 400 years. By who? By fellow Africans. Mm. Because white people came here to our shores, negotiated with Africans to sell our own people. And that's probably where it emanates from. Kom eens kijk, wat ze hulle, Trinit Lover says, America is a nation of foreigners. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, yeah. Trini. Yeah. Thank they you, Trini. They don't want to accept that though. They don't want to accept it and they discriminate against anybody else. No, they discriminate against the Native Americans. This oh. This is what's so funny about Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Belgium too says, Asino Kambikite. Uh, Asino, are you there? I believe so. Mohausi Boli says we are too tolerant as a Namibian people because we have more faith in others than in our own. Uh, I agree. Uh, Jake Sidinio says as long as the comrade with the mentality of indebtedness are in regime, we will tolerate the ones who help us attain independence at the expense of the youth. Uh, Tangeni with a capital says we are tolerant towards those that brought us the book but not towards ourselves Eish! and that is another conversation that um, uh, yeah gets people very divided yeah. the, book. the book and that's what I, that's what I wanted to say like um, we were programmed with religion to be a tolerant uh, uh, being, mm-hmm. you know, we that's that's what we do. It's just like that, and then we would be much more tolerant to anybody which has a higher status in life. Like uh, I could be young, yeah, mm. and be added to the family WhatsApp group mm. because I'm rich uncle, but I'm young, mm. and they will call me. They will be like, "Yo, yeah, Uncle Mitch, Uncle what?" And if I have another uncle that's older than me. Mm. Uh, we, who's older than me? Uh, another brother that's older than me. They will, and he doesn't have a job or he doesn't have a certain status. They won't respect. They him. won't respect. Him. Yeah, it's, he. Would, they, they will send him to go buy or go fetch the. <laughs> he will uh, be an ice boy, basically. He'll be an ice so boy. So it's just we 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 are tolerant according to status in life, a person's status in life. <sighs> you know what? If there's a standoff that I have with my seventy-three-year-old mother. Mm. Because my 73-year-old mother is highly pakir, mm-hmm. probably like your mother. Mm-hmm. And I think, Tuva, you to a certain extent also talks about how religious your mother yeah, is. Yeah, we will. We my mom is ready Bakir, to die. But, yeah. but my, my mom goes religiously yeah. to church every Sunday. Yeah. Uh, and it's a question that I asked my mother the other day again. And she hates it when I bring the Bible into this in, into this equation because I ki- I asked my mother Ma so before white people came here because my mother does not even phantom that there was Feather. a time mm-hmm. that these people were not here mm. that huh? say fathom not phantom uh, fathom yeah. yeah that 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 these people Maria were not Maria. here and and I'm asking a mom, so do you feel that before white people came here with the Bible, was there no level of integrity that we had as a people? Mm -hmm. And these people brought the Bible with them and we, our spirit, our integrity is basically defined as to what they brought here. 
That sets my mother off immediately. But can you please stop setting her off? <laughs> I know. No, because I, I've, I've, come, I've, come to, I know. I've, I've come to the conclusion that my mother is a Christian uh, who is raised uh, during the time of don't question the Bible. Bible you yeah. don't question God. You don't question the Bible. Yeah. You, you practice your Christianity. You practice your humanity. You be kind to others yeah. uh, so that the Lord can, the Lord will do, do unto you as you do unto others and so forth. And that is the bubble in which she operates with her Christi- yeah. her Christianity. So I'm not necessarily trying to pop her bubble because yeah. she, she doesn't need it. She doesn't mm. need that type of stress. She doesn't need to be... And I think for her, even when we question the Bible, mm. it, it makes her fearful for her children because yeah. it's like, are we going to <laughs> hell? You know, so... Uh, I, I, don't, shame, I don't want to give her that type of stress. So hold up your mind stress. Ne, ne. Let her be She's the God-fearing Christian that she is and lost her. Yeah, she, but our parents are... <laughs> Ik zei, hulle verloor goed dat er wil hulle net sê, ah, God sal it's voorzien. Right. Nah, en denk die hulle, it's alright nie. No, it's alright nie. Nah. Like, you're not gonna change them. I, I know, but... You're not gonna change them, so you're just stressing them. Yeah, you know what, uh, as, as far as I can, okay, uh, if she starts, you know, ranting yeah. about, Jelle moet begin kerk toe gaan. Wanneer last was Jenny kerk? Yeah. En Jay, my kind, you, Almost died of the coronavirus. Die gera het jou gehad. Die gera het jou... What is it say? Gered. Ja, jou gered. Yeah. <laughs> en <laughs> jy was nog nie kerk toe. Dankie te gaan sê. Ja, understand. Jy moet dankie gaan sê. And I keep on saying, Ma, I pray. Mm-hmm. Nee, maar jy moet in die huis van die heren, heren gaan bid. <laughs> ja, jy moet. So, so, and it's uh, like TJ Donatello and Jode says, We lost that Pan-African pride. Mm-hmm. Because we have allowed the West kill the unity we once shared. M- Mitchell Mutumba Simata says, They came and outlawed many of our beliefs. Look at New Zealand. They outlawed their tribal tattoos. That is yo mm. to be outlawing the Maori tattoo. Wow. Okay. Mohausi Boli says, And this is how family time comes to an end. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> when I question my mom on religion, I swear she hates me during those <laughs> moments. <laughs> uh, ben Daniel Nakabonde says, uh, look at how our own leaders are playing with our minds uh, while they're enriching themselves at the expense of the masses. Uh, Mohau says, we are too tolerant as a Namibian people because we have more faith in others. Yeah, I, I believe we read that comment a little bit earlier. Uh, no, uh, the reason why I'm saying like, I see Orati mm. is like uh, a friend of mine's mom mm. actually took her pension money to go see a prophet <laughs> in another country. Like, uh, I see Orati, Mary, are we... we <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! Please, 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 please! Don't, don't, don't misunderstand me. When I, uh, when I say, it's what it is. Mm. At the end of the day, even that woman that took her pension money, right? Mm. There is nothing you can do to change her mind. You understand? Religion is one of those things. Die-hard Christians are just that. They are die-hard. They are. They have their mindset up. They have their belief system. uh, Let let me talk about a belief. A belief system is what it is. You're not going to shake it. And I think with 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 Christians, especially I'm. I mean, look, I don't want to use Christian loosely. I'm also a Christian. I'm talking about diehard Christians, right? Mm -hmm. The ones that are ready to die today. It's it's very when you challenge the Christianity, you are effectively offending them. That's the core of who they are. That's who Mm. they exist as a person. So. I, I, our church is not the Pentecostal where you have to give your whole pension. It's not that. It's a traditionalist. Uh, it's those traditional uh, mm. Christian churches Christian, like yeah. your Catholic, your Elsin, your Lutheran, your Evang, mm. those ones. But I do understand that the happy clappy mm-hmm. ones is where they say give your tithe and give your ten mm-hmm. and give your pension. And yes, they, they, they should be more regulation. But I'm just saying you're not mm. going to change those people's minds. Wait a minute. Are you saying the conventional churches? Mm-hmm. Say again. I was saying conventional churches doesn't force people to give their pension and to give their tithes. Uh, don't, don't it's true. Let me tell you, growing up, even if you put at, at, at our traditional churches, I'm, I can only talk about the ones in the north. Even if you put a 10 cent or a 20 cent or a 50 cent or a dollar, mm. 
you don't get the pastor preaching every day in the church about give a tithe. Yeah, give they, a tithe. We, yeah. we, it's really done. Yeah, the they Lutheran are, they're, 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 yeah. We, we really don't. The okay. Lutheran church really doesn't. I, you know about other churches. I, I will disagree there uh, because the Lutheran church, the Catholic church, have at least a thousand year head start when it comes to stealing money from society. Mm-hmm. It's my take. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For a thousand years at least, Christianity has gone through the whole world establishing real estate. There's a Catholic and a Lutheran church in every city, town, Lokasi in this world. The Catholic church is at least a 37 percent title deed holder in the world. But what are you disagreeing with me about? No, I disagree with you saying that they don't ask for money. That they no, no wait, wait. Let me ask, let me answer. They might not be asking for your pension money now. My take is what did those churches take from the people? I'm not disputing anything you in, said. In a thousand I'm, years. I'm not disputing anything yeah. you said. Yeah, but they don't ask for a tenth. Okay. Mm. I'm, I'm not yeah. disputing anything mm. you say. That mm. I, I'm, when, I, when I said it, I'm mm. not saying, I'm not trying to play the traditional churches as better churches then. Yeah, because right? they're not. They, yeah, they're not. This yeah. is not what I'm saying. I'm saying, and mm. this you can't disagree with. Mm. In what I'm telling you, our traditionalist churches, yes, I'm, they're all corrupt. I'm not making excuses for them. Very corrupt. Our traditional churches in the north uh. are not asking people to bring t- envelopes with a 10% of their salaries. Mm-hmm. It's what I'm saying. You can't disagree with that. They're not doing it. Yeah, of they course. Don't. I'm not saying they don't have a history of yeah. plundering and yeah. murdering and raping and yes. stealing and whatever. I'm not saying mm. that. The Finnish missionary came here. They introduced Lutheran to us right so i'm not saying that it also mm. came with missionary i'm saying the churches is very is, the setup is different from your your happy chappy conventional now. churches that are saying bring an envelope holy ghost every now. sunday or when you get your salary you can't dispute that it's of course truth. yeah that's yeah. what i'm saying no i don't dispute but, it but i'm not i'm not trying yeah. to make one church better than the all other. i'm just saying is they're not doing it now <laughs> because when we want to build a church let me tell you we, our, our church was built uh, about 10 years ago right uh-huh. when 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 the church wanted to build when our church wanted to build the new infrastructure what they had was now the raffle tickets the fundraising mm-hmm. you know whatever the collection the uh-huh. activities to raise money for that but quite literally, I grew up every day putting 10 cents in the basket <laughs> and my mother yeah. would put a dollar or two. I'm just saying, you it's very hard. It's very rare if you go to the churches in the north where you see a basket filled with notes. Mm-mm-mm. It's usually coins. It's coins, yeah. Mental comet coins. But we do all know that uh, 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 churches are registered as businesses. Mm-hmm. They're actually registered as business. But they're not paying taxes. They're not registered as businesses because then they would have to pay taxes. Yeah, they're registered as they churches. No. 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 Ah. They don't. They, the, ah. the churches here because, don't pay taxes. Because mm. I know our church uh, uh, wanted to also buy a building or something like that. <laughs> This, 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 no. they are if you register as a business, you have to pay taxes. You have to register. But I'm saying yeah. if you register as a church, you can still do business, mm. but you don't have to pay taxes. taxes. So mm. they register as churches. For instance, a friend of mine, I, I remember, you know, Jimmy, mm. my, my friend, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I, we laughed about three years ago. Um, I remember we were driving down Nelson Mandela Avenue in Klein Vinduk. And a friend of him called him and said, May Brewer, because Jimmy was going to Pretoria to go and watch, I think Kaiser Chiefs was playing Mamelodi Sundowns. Mm -hmm. Sundowns is obviously from Pretoria. This guy asked Jimmy, Jimmy, don't leave this town without taking this $25,000 to Pretoria. Why? Because at the time, Prophet Bushiri's church mm-hmm. is in Pretoria. Fat yeah. hierdie 25 blok gaan gee dit vir Maria. She's there in Senten. She will take the money to Pretoria or whatever. I have to give my contribution to Sheriff. Or what? 
What? I work for Major one. Major one. Shepherd in the major one. Yeah. Oh, Shepherd pay, Bushiri. Oh, you have to pay 50,000 or 100,000 to see him personally, for yeah. him to pray for you personally. I'm saying hey. these are the things that are hey. happening. Yes. Yeah, but me, me like already. Like a net for on, on, on the bride. That's what I'm saying. Birthday. Lost my bride. Hello. Hello. My money back in. My money back in. Shaka batalet. Money back in. Hey, this shaka. Remember, if this comedy thing doesn't work out, I'm becoming a prophet. I'm telling you. Yeah, I I also agree. I I'm I'm I'm, be, I'm opening a church. <laughs> uh, Mitchell uh, Mutumba says they don't pay tax and they own all the land. Yep. Uh, uh, Estomi says the worst mm. is those that give all the money to a pastor and boom, the pastor dies. Now you are crying for the pastor to tell where the <laughs> money <laughs> money is. People are being robbed daily, but will say the good days will come through faith. Uh, Mitchell Mutumba says religion can be tailor made to fit a certain narrative. It was used to enslave black and indigenous people uh, the world over. Uh, Cleaning Global yeah, says, I read that. I was to um, ask to read when that. you question a belief system, I always ask as to what informs one's critique and exactly what is it that you were exposed to qualify your opinion, more so on the spiritual aspects of those belief systems as compared to the social con. Const constructs of perceptions. Sorry, that's not the comment I wanted. He wanted to say, Tini said, um, they are registered as voluntary businesses, but Maria, you are showing lack of understanding in what the tenants of churches' role was set on between themselves and government in their understanding of their respective roles. More also on why on uh, why they do not pay taxes. I ask you, Maria Neville, what is your understanding? Maybe I can then relate to your understanding. Actually, Tini, I don't know if you're speaking from a South African perspective. It's not true. Namibian churches are not registered as businesses. Let me just clarify that, mm. all right? So this is not a misunderstanding of whatever. You might be speaking from a South African perspective. Maybe they, it's done differently. But in Namibia, I can tell you for a fact, they're not registered as business. That's the first thing. And number two, I don't think we are, we don't understand the agenda of churches coming into Africa. I certainly am not. What I was trying to share is my perspective of what, how I grew up in a traditional, uh, traditionalist church and what they required of us. But again, as I put that disclaimer out here, I'm by no means defending it or trying to play better than, for me, all churches mm. are the same. Yeah. All churches are the same. Mm. There's no better church than the other. They mm. all are there with the intent. They all have their own um, agenda, even coming into Africa. <coughs> so just to clarify on that. I believe, I mean, even the universal church, and I, I believe we spoke about this a few months ago, where the universal church went to Opuo and in that to district people there. to go and convert the Ovahimba people yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. to become Christian yeah. uh, to go and build a church in the Ovahimba community now these people of the universal church I believe they are from where? Uh, I Brazil. think Brazil. 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 Mm. How big is the Amazon in Brazil? Why don't you take your money and your Bibles and go to the Amazon those and go give it <laughs> to those tribes there? By the way, that and lost also means the eighty. So. That pissed, let me tell you why that pissed me. They off were killed. They you, 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 I was uh, effectively seeing that happen in twenty two. I know that happened. That's exactly how it happened to us in like nineteen fifty three or nineteen nineteen eighteen hundreds. Eighteen hundreds. That's how they came, descended, and converted us, right? But it was like seeing history <sighs> repeat like itself. In twenty twenty, and you're seeing it right in front. That was. Yeah, that yes, hurt yes. me to the core. No, they actually tried. Um, they actually tried, and you know those tribes are most un like they they don't allow uh, uh, outsiders. And mm. I think one or two missionaries were killed. Where is this now? Uh, uh, in the Amazon. No, they, of course they, that has happened many a times. Thing. Yeah, mm. so they don't allow outsiders. So uh, they won't go there. No, man, it's nonsense. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Okert Kamati Kondilo Johnson are churches registered as businesses. I believe there is still a discussion about it. Uh, Teshon says Mutatio Carson's Mebrur 
I don't see past the past to see me. I get a nachmalt. Oh, top Ja. Yeah. Uh, Yoni Mwafa says, All are we being told is generational curses. Uh huh. Oh, I love the, sa- the start of your sentence. I love the start of your sentence because I hear my mother says this all the time. All we are, are being told is generational curses, but our forefathers were killed here by whites, and still the whites are living well. Uh, are the curses only a place <laughs> in black Africans? I just don't get this sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I hear this all the time. Um, um, mut, mut, uh, sorry, it was um, Tayshon uh, tagged Oker to ask him, are uh, businesses registered as business? I think so we can, w- I don't know if he works in that department okay. or whatever, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just want to clarify. Okay. So Neville, who, who gets all that money? The church. The church money, who gets, is the owner. Have, have you seen, have you seen a, a poor pastor? Uh, let's so talk like about these flamboyant pastors that we are talking about our church has an office a higher people like a whole office mm. so who gets that whole pig like because i know like there are more, more guys that are underneath the pastor mm. the ones the, that the hold the hood the hood hood the hood. so mm. do they do these guys get salaries I, I remember when i was 12 and i had this conversation with my mother because the pastor <laughs> was preaching about like, give, give your money unto the lord give your money unto the lord and and i asked my mom it's up to church i was like but how does the church give it to the Lord? Sinjay, <laughs> Sinjay, you, you are very obtuse, you, Maria. Mm. Jesus said, I'm angry. I was, I was 11, 12. <laughs> like how, they tell, they tell you the money is for God. <laughs> give it to God. But how does the church, it, it, like do you DHL it? Uh, One way ticket to heaven. Yeah. Like, uh, what the pastor had for me to say, he went in the camera and he threw the money in the light and the money that came from God gave him. <laughs> ah! <laughs> nope. You guys will go to hell. I'm just I telling you. No, guys, never, it's just funny <laughs> how these guys, it's, it's too easy, man. It's Bye. too easy to make money like that. I'm going to become a prophet, but ah. I'm telling you. If, like you say, if, it's, if this doesn't work out, we know where to go. Yeah, guys, um, yeah, it's about three minutes before the time. And we know uh, we have to go. 10 o'clock uh, is a very hey, important hey, hour. Hey, 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 hey. Ahaba. Ahaba will be speaking. And uh, one thing that I quickly just wanted to say um, before before we, we, we stop our show. Um, whew, um, yeah, I think Sunday, no, Saturday was my last show. That, mm-hmm. I, that I had and uh, I've, I've been extremely grateful and, and Tuva I think even you and, and what you've been doing and your passion at least now that when curfews uh, and the regulations changed a little bit you had the opportunity to also do what you which is your passion which is photography and mm-hmm. no, it's, been, it's been a back burner for a while but yeah. yes 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 yeah. and yo I just wanted to say um I was with Top Cherry on Friday night. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had a show together when I was hosting this event. I just want to send a shout out to this girl, to Top Cherry. No, she, she's, she knows her craft. Yo, guys, mm. this little girl that was sitting here, mm. and this is, I think it's my second time seeing her perform. Mm. This girl is so small. Dynamic. She changes in this monster. Mm. The moment she steps on stage. You know what? She came off stage. I was so emotional. I held her. I was standing with her in a little corner. Say so clean. Ek vater, ek sê vir haar. Top Cherry. My sister. You are special. She is. She performed that night. And I was just standing there at awe. And the music was so good. And um, and, and, and PDK was also performing. But... What a show we had on this this is this is most people don't understand when Monica is walking around like I'm the ish. Yeah. Because she's got that confidence, right? Yeah. She 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 By speaks nar. with so much <laughs> like confidence. She she walks and, 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 and just exudes so much confidence. It's because she knows mm. she is she, she's not pretending. 
she is a she's the real deal mm. what you see is what you get when she puts on a show she's not just speaking smack the, the <coughs> girl delivers i've seen i've been also fortunate enough to see her perform a few times yep. mm. and uh she's never disappointed me. she's like gaza gaza never yeah, disappoints yeah, me. Yeah, like yeah. top cherry never disappoints mm. me never ever gaza disappointed me mm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> i will not say <coughs> And I have a personal beef that I have with DJs in this country. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Maria. Ne, <laughs> ne, seriously. <laughs> you know, the DJ on Friday night at my event, <coughs> okay, where Top Cherry was performing, top, 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 top class DJ. Uh -huh. And you know, a DJ is supposed to, like what we comedians do, read your room, room. before you speak. speak. Yeah. Now a DJ, if you are Say a reputable name. DJ, Say you read your room. Uh -huh. <laughs> this guy played <laughs> everything from Kwaito, Ama Piano, Ninet Komni. Yeah, Ninet Komni. Uh Lani Musik. He reads the room. Daar is Buster Sirikan. Yeah. I need to play a little bit of Geese. Here is Klom Wambo Sirikan. Yeah. I need to play a bit of Gaza and then in, in, in PDK. Oh, that's Bure Daso. I need to play a little bit of uh, what? Say <laughs> toch langeram. Yeah. Nee, nee, langeram <laughs> nie. But he reads the room. Yeah. Saturday night I had another event. Yeah. Oh. What was the DJ? A white DJ. <laughs> and immediately as I came there and you popped in there. <laughs> White DJ. Mm -hmm. oh, now God. the music starts off, it's just Lani Music. Yeah. It's a company where 70% of the staff are either black right. or colored. The DJ is white. He plays just Lani Music. I go to the organizers and say, listen, uh, this guy has been playing Lani Music for how long now? Yeah. What I do. That man hit alles. Yeah. <laughs> Up to the end of the show, this guy only plays white music. Well, let Can me explain it to you. He was Superman playing for the people Batman. who are paying his paycheck. Spy, you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I, said, I said to the guy, and, and, and one guy made the comment, and, and this guy said, you know what? That's the thing about black DJs. Black DJs have all the music. Mm. White DJs only have one type of music. Mm. Uh, so, to all you guys who are still having year-end functions and whatever until God knows when, ask the organizers who's the DJ. Here, I'm pissed off. The man crazy paycheck is all what belongs for us. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. The first thing that Neville Van Praat is that DJ. Here, that DJ is on my word. I hate it on Saturday night with dealing with these type of DJs. Guys, it's family meeting. Cedric Ventura, Jacob, no yes, and the meeting is clear. The other meeting, no Gazi. So, uh, guys, um, happy Monday. Okay. Come uh, on, Dieri Babi. Let's hear what Abu Dhabi has to say um, in terms of uh, the regulations coming up. Uh, we'll discuss that tomorrow. First thing. Sharp, sharp. Ciao.